It's late summer in the UK and this is the ideal time for you to be eating mackerel. Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life, home of the Kamado Bono. My name's Tom and today we are cooking some beautiful mackerel fillets. We're going to be doing a nice hot smoke on there and finishing it off with a sauce that if you've seen previous mackerel videos on this channel, you were going to know goes really well. But it's not a sauce that you would generally decide to put with mackerel, in my opinion. So let's crack on with this. I've got four mackerel fillets. They've got a really nice colour to them. I picked these up from Sainsbury's. They were already filleted out. Normally, I get my mackerel fresh from a friend of mine, but he's not been able to pick some up due to car troubles this year. So we've gone for supermarket um, mackerel here. Either or works completely well. I've done supermarket mackerel on the channel before. I've done fresh mackerel on the channel before, and they are both equally as good generally these days, providing you get them with a longer um, best before date. Don't take them right towards the end. If you can get them from your fish munger and they're a bit fresher, then that's even better as well. So this um, hot smoke, we need to get a bit of a cure going on on this fish, and it's only a really quick cure. So we want to go equal parts of sugar and salt into a pestle and mortar. So I'll just use a teaspoon of each for these four fillets. And we just want to really grind that down into a really smooth consistency. I don't want big chunks of salt on this. I need it all sort of the same level of fineness. And we just want to sprinkle that all over the fleshy side of these mackerel fillets. And as I say, this is going to give us a really quick cure. It's only going to take about an hour. So once you've got all this sprinkled on, Pop them in the fridge for an hour while you're sorting out some other bits and getting your Kamado lit. And they will be absolutely perfect once we are ready. So as I said before, we're using the Kamado Bono today and we're using the charcoal basket in there. If you don't have a charcoal basket, you can just bank your coals up to one side. But I'm really impressed with the capabilities of the charcoal basket. It makes cleaning out a lot easier and it allows me to bank more coal up on one side because it's got that divider in there stopping it from falling into my indirect side of the grill. So we want to get that lit just with a couple of little wax woodies in there. Get your charcoal kind of piled over the top, still making sure that you've still got plenty of air holes. And we need to be going in with a half moon deflector. So you can see here that this half moon deflector has been covered in foil. And that is because we are cooking fish and the fats are going to drip out of the fish onto our deflector plate. And if you don't cover it in foil and you get fish oils in your deflector plate, it takes absolutely forever to cook back out again. So if you are cooking fish, I thoroughly recommend that you cover the top side of your deflector in foil just in case you get any drippings on there. And it is going to make your Kamado smell a lot better in the future. Otherwise, you're going to be getting some fishy tastes until you do a really hot, clean burn. So we've got that set up and we're going to go on with one half moon grill grate above that uh, deflector plate. And we're only putting one in the Kamado today and you'll find out why in a moment. So next up we need to sort out our smoking wood. So beech wood is my chosen wood to go with mackerel. I don't have any beech wood chunks but I do have beech wood chips. So I'm just going to make a little foil parcel. So I've not pre-soaked these beech wood chips in a parcel, you don't need to. We just get these into the middle, fold it in, seal it up, stab it with a knife so that you've got some holes for the smoke to be able to release from. And this is going to be our equivalent to our smoking wood. So we need to get our temperatures set in the Kamado. So we want about 140 degrees C for this first part of the cook. So anywhere from 120 up to 160 is going to be absolutely fine. I got mine up to 140 today. So I went one and a half fingers in the bottom vent and the top vent was set to one and a half. And with that half lot of charcoal in there, that was just about right. If you was to be using a full bottom of charcoal in there and you were setting your vents to that point, you'd probably get a slightly higher temperature. But by only putting half the charcoal in over on one side, that is about right for receiving 140 degrees C. So once we've got that temperature set down, we want to take our foil parcel with our smoking chips in there and just kind of wedge that over the top of the charcoal so it's receiving that direct heat underneath it, really high heat, enough to get a smoke on, but we're not just placing the foil directly on top of the charcoal, smothering anything. So we get that in place, give that a couple of minutes just to start to, to get a little bit of a smoke going. 
while that smoke's starting to build, take your uh, mackerel out of the fridge. And for some reason, I've lost the footage of this part, but I did just block this off with a tissue paper across the top. We want to just draw any of that salt and sugar that's left on the top of there at the top so that it doesn't become too salty at the end. So just use some kitchen towel and just blotted that off. As soon as I've done that, we're starting to roll a little bit of smoke in the Kamado. And we're just going to place these four fillets over that indirect side for around 25 minutes to half an hour with the lid shut at that 140 degrees C. So that beach smoke in there is going to give us a lovely smoky environment to get a nice hot smoke onto these mackerel fillets. And as I say, 25 minutes to half an hour is about right at that temperature. And when we come to that, the end of that time, our mackerel is going to be cooked. So you can take a knife and you can see that it will just flake away. And that is at the point the mackerel is just about done. What we want to do now is something really special. It's going to stop it from sticking to the grill grate because if you try and take it off the grill grate now, it will be stuck like anything. Um, and the bottom of our skin is not crispy and I absolutely adore crispy mackerel skin. So that reason we only put that half um, grill grate in at one point at the beginning was because we can now pick it up with some heat proof gloves. So I'm using just an old glove that I use for ro roaming about in the charcoal. But any decent heat proof glove, I'm just going to pick that half moon uh, grill grate up and put that now over the direct side. If you don't have a multi-level um, grill grate that you're able to do that with, you can just turn it 180 degrees. So just twist your standard grill grate around 180 degrees using your gloves so that you can get that fish over that direct side. We want to leave that there for about three to four minutes with that direct heat underneath and that is going to crisp that skin up absolutely beautifully and it's going to release it from that grill grate so that we don't have too much trouble trying to get it off after that three to four minutes so when that three to four minutes done you can hear it sizzling away in there you're really getting a beautiful mackerel smells coming out of the barbecue now just go in with a large spatula and just work underneath that fish gently don't go in there and just smash the spatula underneath it because if there are any parts that are still stuck you're just going to make a mess. Just work around gently, loosen each fillet up and get that onto a plate where we're going to leave it there for just a couple of minutes just to rest and calm down. And then we are going to finish this with some Thousand Island dressing. So as I said at the beginning, it's not generally a sauce that you would consider putting with mackerel, but there is a recipe from a few years ago on here where we cook the mackerel in some Thousand Island dressing um, with some shallots. And this is a family recipe. That is a recipe from my great uncle that I can remember from a child and the mackerel being absolutely fantastic. I thought, how can we get a better smoke on this fish and a better grilled barbecue flavour rather than cooking in foil, but still incorporate that Thousand Island dressing? So we've come up with this, the nice hot smoke, and we're just going to drizzle our Thousand Island dressing over the top. So I set this up in a bottle and I was hoping that it was going to come out in a nice little thin um, stream so we could just get like a drizzle over the top and all it wants to do is drip where it's a bit thin and then there's bits of tomato and pepper within the sauce and blocking up the nozzle so it didn't quite look as aesthetic as I wanted it to at the end which is a little bit annoying but we've just got that covered on each fillet we do have no taste test today unfortunately but I can assure you that this did taste absolutely fantastic hopefully the taste test will be coming back now the kids are back at school and there's less noise out in the garden but as I said I can assure you this was absolutely fantastic so please do leave me a comment let me know what you think make sure you like the video it makes the video travel so much further to new people and if you're not subscribed and you're new here then please do subscribe to the video thank you very much for watching cheers